I was gone for 700 days, but in that time I got 4.4 million kills and 168 million experience. Which means we're probably off to a pretty good start today. And on top of that, the spring event is now live, so we have a giant chicken to talk to. This also means we can get a ton of extra gems, but only for a limited time. Now, because we were AFK grinding for two years, we've got a lot of stat points to spend. I understand that accuracy is very important, so we're going to give ourselves lots of that. Also, damage is important, so sharpened axe, that's gonna add just a ton of base damage. And defense, apparently, so we can stay alive. Then I understand we've got a boss to fight way down here in the woods. In order to find the boss behind this door, we need to fix the ghost. We do that by defeating board monsters to find out how the ghost died. He probably annoyed people by not giving them a straight answer. Now, for the next little while, we've gotta kill board monsters, they'll eventually drop bones. These aren't getting one-shotted, but they're very close to getting one-shotted. Also, I'd like to thank the game dev for sponsoring me to once again try and ruin their game. And also giving me these time candies so they're gonna jump through time. But 72 hours later, we have 147 out of the 10 bones we need. And now he wants some stones from Amarok, who's the boss. So if we go ahead and use up those keys, we should be able to go into the boss. Probably should have healed before going in here. And we got absolutely one-shotted by the boss, so we're gonna need a little more defense. He has 25,000 HP. That means we're gonna have to do a little more grinding which is bad news for the goblin population. So I'm going to spend the next thousand hours genociding goblins. Which leaves a bunch of very important stuff for me on the ground. Plus we might actually be able to break the game just with drops on the ground. So as I'm killing these morons or dropping cards, the more cards I collect, the better they're going to be. I've swapped these around to give myself some better stats. I also realized I found a health statue in my inventory. In fact, 250 of them. So apparently I can just deposit the statues here and that actually gave me like 50 extra HP, which is a lot. And apparently I've had a lot of furnaces hard at work back in town. And using some of that ore, I can already make an iron helmet. And then I can drop these uh, upgrade stones on them and it might work or it might not. Luckily I have a lot of them. So no more top hat for me. We have a trusty iron helmet that looks much, much better. And to make things like the iron plate body, we need the jungle logs. You might notice I have 3,500 of them. So here's a reenactment of how I got them. I started chopping a tree and then I clicked on just idle and then I waited here for 72 full hours and then I had everything I needed. And that's how I made my iron armor, which added a lot of extra defense. And I should really look at my stash more because I have 360 of these statues also. Turns out I can actually just get a lot stronger by actually understanding how the game works. There's a whole bunch of extra base damage. For iron pants, we need boring bricks, which we can produce at the anvil, albeit somewhat slowly. So we'll just sit back for three, six, maybe even nine days. And by that point, we've got 350 boring bricks to our name. That gave us a whole bunch of experience in itself. So then we can finish our iron pants, which is going to add an extra eight armor plus all the stats. But in order to get newer, better stuff to defeat the boss, we're going to need anvil tab two. So chain link, forest fibers, bullfrog horns. Chain links being produced. I'm not entirely sure where forest fibers are, but it might be through this portal. We need to go 45,000 idiots to get there. So, three days at a time, we're gonna get there. We've already gone through over 100 days in game, so that's pretty fun. Not sure this is where I wanted to be. So I guess we just killed 45,000 idiots pretty much for no reason. But we'll try this direction next. This looks like what I've been looking for. It's always the last place you look, so we'll just, uh do some off-screen grinding for three days. That also gave us a hearty level up because why wouldn't? And you know what? I suspect these are the guys that are gonna give me the bullfrog horns. They're a little bit tougher than I'm used to, but that's okay. That's good training and they pop. So, uh, you know, roughly three days later and I think we made up the pieces we need. But just to be sure we're getting adequate amounts of experience, I'm gonna chop this tree for a few days because that's just really easy levels. While we were burning through time, we also found a whole bunch more statues that are gonna help all sorts of things. And while we skipped through like a thousand days, we obviously finished a chain link we needed so there's a new thing which doesn't seem to have locked anything crazy new yet but that's perfectly fine we don't yet have the option to make iron boots but we can make goo galoshes i already have copper boots i have jungle logs we just need some slime sludge and that means killing these adorable creatures uh 72 hours at a time one mass extinction later we can make goo galoshes these actually don't have a lot of armor on them i've added a few potions into my food slots because we're gonna try the boss again now that we're a little bit more upgraded surely he has no chance against me this time he hit me for 43 damage we survived that shot we're hitting him but we're not doing enough damage yet this one might hurt a little bit more i don't know if i should move out of the way of these those don't actually hurt that bad we're definitely a lot closer to killing him than we used to be actually we've got him down to about half health so maybe this won't be as bad as i thought because something here is doing a lot of damage oh it's probably my lightning skill 
and we are able to hit him. Our accuracy is high enough. That missed. A lot of my attacks are missing right now. I won't judge myself too harshly. I am kind of stupid. Uh, and I accidentally clicked auto attack off without realizing it. So now that that's on, there is 5,000 damage. That's one fifth of his health just like that. Okay, we should probably move away now. So we got to turn auto attacks off. Oh, he died. He fell apart. Wow, we actually did that quicker than I thought we would. To be fair, we did spend like a thousand in-game days grinding. So we should be stronger than where we started. Then I think I needed some of this. So whatever that is, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we'll just break it like that. Good news though, I forgot to pick up the stones when I killed him or my inventory might have been full. So we're going to have to do this one more time. And when we hit him with our lightning, it's 5100 damage. So that is a fifth of his health. And then when we hit him with our regular shot, it's over a thousand and he crumbles into dust. Can I have your rocks now? I see the problem. He wants 25 of these. I've got one currently, so we're going to settle for just grabbing one of these. But he did also drop me this, which I'm pretty sure I can use on this portal to go to the next area. Now we have a cactus with a hat on it. Things are looking up. Well, it turns out the murderous cactus wants me to kill 100,000 sandy pots. I don't know where I find sandy pots, but I have found the fishing area. These very well might be sandy pots. The grind begins. One out of 100,000 killed. I mean, I get it. It's going to take a long time to kill 100,000 of these. I wouldn't know where to begin, even how to do this. Does that not count? That might not count. We did find a lot of good stuff though. My inventory already filled up. Turns out it was a joke and we only had to kill a few and now we're actually done the quest. That's a relief because I really didn't want to sit here and kill 100,000 of those. Now he wants me to kill 20 sandy pots without my hat equipped. Believe it or not, the bulk of my power doesn't come from my hat. It comes from skipping through three days at a time. And it won't let me do it that way, so we're going to have to do it the manual way, and that's perfectly fine. They're all dropping yellow headbands, but we're pretty much going to sell those because those aren't as good as ours. Well, that was fun. Let's never do it again. And we have a new brewing thing we can play with. So before doing anything, I'm going to spend some money to make it better chance of doing stuff. And after assigning both my idiots to the quick cauldron, and I've assigned my idiots to the high IQ cauldron because they need the help. It said 3 per hour, so let's give it 72 hours to see what happens. And we've leveled up. And somehow also caught a lot of fish, so let's do some more fishing without fishing. 1,000 goldfish! Uh, this is actually leveling me up quite quickly, uh, 3 days at a time, it's no surprise, so we'll get some easy levels here. And it's been like 64 days, so hopefully there's something here ready for us. I don't think we can skip through the time on the cauldron. So we'll circle back to that in a bit. We'll see what the cactus wants. Also, I just realized from all of our goldfish, we completed the quest. We needed 20, we got 980 because we're an overachiever. 1,000 goldfish just for you. As a reward, I got a wormy weight. And I think that's unlocked the next fishing area. So let's spend maybe 72 hours here fishing in a row. The experience there is slowing down a bit and I gotta make some room in my inventory. To progress to the next area, I need fishing level 30. Pretty sure I can increase my fishing level just by standing here and skipping through time. I don't even have a fishing rod at this point. Although it is slowing down quite a lot. So I'm going to go back to doing some murdering for now, hoping to find a fishing rod along the way. I also have whatever this is. There's a bunch of flies in my face now. Can we just uh, go ahead and skip through time? I think I need a net probably to catch those. Because I've noticed that's yet another one of the tools that I don't currently have. But look at this thing. Uh, he wants me to defeat all mimics before the time runs out. Yeah, we'll see if we accomplish that within our 72 hours we're going to take to do this. They were also kind enough to, to drop for me an item to increase my inventory space. So if we go through 72 hours, we get 14,000 kills, two mimic cards, all that good stuff. Yet no fishing rod. Oh, maybe this is where we have to kill the mimics. Okay, well, can we just skip time in here? Nope, we're not allowed to do that. We got to do it the old-fashioned way and manually kill things. Well, I'd say we're still pretty strong because we've only got three of these left to kill. It's only been 25 seconds. Okay, next do come the actual mimics, but we can still one-shot them with their skill at least. Okay, job's done. Uh, apparently that wasn't good enough for him, but I don't care. We're moving on to a stronger area. The land of crabs holding cakes. I think we're strong enough to kill these probably. They are hurting us, but we're hurting them back. 1,820 kills over 72 hours. Uh, experience is probably not actually that much. Only 384,000 because it's not that efficient for us to be here. Like if we go back one zone, we get 3 million experience for 72 hours spent here. Basically what I'm hearing is I need a bug net, a fishing rod, and more damage. Damage is pretty easy since I haven't upgraded anything in a while. Uh, I've got 28 points available, they're just going all straight into damage. Our minimum damage is well over a thousand now. The cactus wanted me to make some more characters, so I did. Now I need to buy a gold doubloon to prove my worth. I think that's one of these. Uh, yeah, I think I've got enough money for that. I've got blue coins even. So that was pretty easy. I hope all quests are this easy. Look at that guy's axe. 
I think I understand now why we wanted to make the extra characters is so we could add them to the cauldron to go faster, but they don't have any skills yet. So while we're waiting for the mysteries of the bubble cauldrons to reveal themselves, we could maybe look into how to mine blue and purple ore. So in order to mine even gold, I think I need more mining skills, so I'm just going to mine iron and skip 72 hours at a time until we're high enough to mine gold. While also maybe giving us a little bit of strength because we need strength for mining. A few levels later, I got my mining efficiency up to 250, that means we can mine gold. So now we just gotta grind through days and days and days at a time because we're still not doing it very efficiently. And I didn't realize our furnaces were still full of iron so we probably could have pulled those out for big experience also. But we could definitely get started by putting some gold in there. And before you know it we'll be able to make some gold armor because we actually have a lot of what we need already. So let's just patiently wait for 72 hours. And that didn't seem to have any effect on our gold bars so we're just waiting the good old fashioned way. So in order to make some of this stuff we need goldfish and pocket sand anyway so let's go farm that. Looks like I can also unlock new items, one of which was the net that I need. I do that by finishing the merits, which is all these things, and then remembering to actually claim them. Anyways, I'm going to stop getting distracted with all the different stuff to do now and focus on some fishing because I need some goldfish. There's 1100 of them. Then I believe these beautiful idiots had the pocket sand, so we'll spend 72 hours killing them. Now that I've collected all that I need, it's going into storage until I have the gold I need to make this stuff. And I realized I had a bunch of extra fishing tools in my chest so I can probably use these to increase my fishing efficiency again. Because if I go to the fishing rod here I can pick different things that have different effects. Like this one I think gives me enough extra power that I can get deeper fish. And then by changing the line to this one I'm going to get extra experience as well. I'm also going to unlock an extra card slot or four. That way I can get four extra bonuses. Then I can easily get things like 5% total fishing efficiency, and even things like an extra 15% mining efficiency, which is huge. I didn't know that I could just select these and unlock them. So we now have a net we can make and some iron and copper stuff. That's going to be wonderfully helpful. Okay, that unlocked us a whole new row of recipes, and that's probably a better staff than my character would use. And then we have golden tier tools we can make as well, so I'm glad I noticed that now rather than much later. So now I can make like this sleek shank, that's going to give weapon power 1 for defense with 2 upgrade slots. And the copper fishing rod is only 200 copper bars and 180 goldfish. Making distilled water is going to be hard, but you get the idea. Fishing is going to be easy. So what I'm really going to want is this. I need 8 distilled water. Okay, so far I've got 1 distilled water because the cost from this, we're slowly producing this with all my characters on board. So while we're waiting for distilled water, we're going to make a fishing rod. That adds 8 fishing power plus actually 2 strength. So that's going to go right on there. And I think we can actually uh, add these to it potentially to make it a little bit stronger. The next problem I have is I can only put 35 fish in my inventory per stack. So we need a bigger fishing pouch. Which only takes 180 goldfish. The next one is going to take distilled water but eventually we'll get better at making that stuff. Now we can hold 175 goldfish per stack. I also just found this ridiculous Jeff Bezos ring. Uh, it's really, really expensive. It doesn't seem to do anything, so I'm going to buy it. And there's Cosmic Time Candies. These give you up to 500 hours to skip, so we're going to go ahead and buy lots of those. And a Crescent Moon Pendant. 35% class experience bonus, 5% mob respawn, and 3 weapon damage plus 10 all stats. That's ridiculous. That's going to help jump us ahead just a little bit. Uh, I just double clicked it and it went somewhere. I don't know if we're wearing it or not. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. So for this experience balloon, it will uh, increase the skill of whatever's in the lower left. So if we use it here, we'll get slowly fishing experience. Not slowly, but you get the idea. We can just go like this and uh, we're going to get lots. But now that I do have a fishing rod equipped, we're probably better off just to go like this. Then we'll get 10,000 experience. We need 80,000 per level. And we got jellyfish for the first time, so that's a new one. But we should try one of these. We'll get up to 500 hours. Does it say how long? We're gone for 14 hours. We'll try one more of those, 8 hours. Wow, we're not getting very lucky with these. One day, 15 hours. We need to go over 3 days to set a new record. There we go, 4 days, 21 hours. That one naturally did come with a level up. There's one day, 4 hours. I just straight up skipped through like 100 days. I left a lot of fish behind, but we did hit fishing level 30 finally. Plus, I leveled up quite a few times, so we can add even more damage. And our damage is up to 1300 at its base. But you can never have too much damage. So we're going to pop that all the way up to almost 1400. With the rest of the skills, we did get over 1400. So this must be the end of the fishing area. If I fish here, I get one singular Skelefish card. And I guess some Skelefish as well. And a lot of fishing experience. And because I've been doing so many other things, we've managed to smelt enough gold in that time to make a gold plate body. So now I've got gold and armor. And it's not even upgraded, but it's already much better than the iron. With a few little upgrades, it's going to get that much better. 24 defense. Looks like it's going to take a little bit of time before we're going to get any distilled water. And we need 8 of those to be able to make the better staff. 
Luckily for me, I've been stacking damage this entire time anyway, so we have no shortage of that. So let's go back to that boss fight that destroyed us so bad the first time we did this. And then we can see just sort of how much we've improved since then. So we're going to auto attack. That took off a huge chunk of his life. We're going to use our lightning attack. That's uh, going to take off hopefully a big chunk of his life. There we go. That absolutely melted him. And he's having trouble hitting us. Even when he did, we did little damage. So that's a little bit easier. And we can actually just use more keys so we can farm the stones we need from him. We can just auto attack and tear through him for a minute. This is so much easier. That was well over half his health. So to farm him, all I need to do is hit auto attack. Use the lightning bolt, uh, refresh when it's done, that was a weak one. But it'll be super easy to save up the stones we need. We've got four of them already. I've adjusted my cards to be a little less resource friendly and a little more attack heavy, so now we're hitting him for even more. That was a pretty regular hit and that was a big chunk of his life. I just hit him for 18,000 on that one, so that was a new damage record for us. And we got the final stone we needed. That took us 24 tries. So hopefully our reward for that is something absolutely amazing. Don't sell this item, hold down to add to your token bag found in storage info. Okay, well it's sitting there, I'm sure it does something amazing. I found a guy that accidentally reset my stat points, so I put them all back and gave myself even more damage. So we're just going to use that damage to play through a whole bunch more days here and just soak in the experience. Okay, so we just played through like another 150 days which put our damage up even more. So we played through over a thousand days. And we basically spent those thousand days building up our damage, so let's see how it goes now. This is going to be without my lightning skill involved. Uh, we're still hitting him pretty good, but lightning skill certainly helps him. Well, that was a pretty good hit, and this is our basic attack. So let's try that again with our lightning attack. We've come a long ways. When he first fought this boss, he absolutely destroyed us. Now we absolutely destroy him. It's kind of laughable. So maybe a few thousand more days to go, and we'll get somewhere. And since Eidolon is out on iOS, I can continue that on my phone instead of on Steam while I do whatever it is I do when I'm not doing this. 